Hey guys, so it's your girl Robin, and I'm actually here picking up my kids, but I wanted to quickly come and tell you guys my holiday magic story about how I was able to manifest my car. Now, granted, um, I don't have like a Lexus or a Mercedes, but nonetheless, I was able to get a new car, and at the time, which was just about two months ago, my credit score was a 520, um, although Credit Karma told me something different. That's a whole other video. But my credit score was a 520. Um, I didn't put any money down. Um, and I was able to keep my monthly payments where it was comfortable for me. So I'm going to tell you all about it. So basically, um, the car that I had was a 2004 Mitsubishi Endeavor. And um, I'd had a wreck. I hadn't been able to really get the body fixed. Um, but the car had still been, you know, getting me from point A to point B just fine. But I did take it to the mechanic and there was just a lot of work that needed to be done. So I had started to um, realize that, you know, I'm probably going to need a new car, but I didn't want a payment. Um, I hadn't saved up any money to get the car. So the first thing that I did was I had already gotten it in my mind that, Robin, you need a car because it's important for me to have a nice, reliable car. That's important. I have to have that. That's a necessity for me. Um, so once I had that thought kind of pining in my head because it was going to cost me thousands and thousands of dollars and just the condition that my car was already in, even if I had paid that money, there was no guarantee that my car was really going to be reliable, particularly with the winter coming up. So that was my concern. So I had it in my head that, Robin, this is something that you need. But I wasn't really certain that I could do it. I was going to wait till tax time like everyone else. Well, I got um, a pre-approval in the mail from my credit card company. And uh, at first I ignored it. But then I kind of was like, hmm, apparently I can get approved. So let me start looking into this a little bit more. At this point, I had discovered Ashira, Ashira Goddess or Ashira 7. She's got more than one channel, so I don't remember which one I started off with. I think it was Ashira Goddess. And I was learning about manifesting. I then went on to find Reverend Ike on YouTube. And I'm going to try to, if I can't leave a link, I will definitely leave their information down below. But I found them and I started learning how to manifest. So the first thing that you do is you get it in your head. You have to visualize. And so I started really thinking about what would it be like to have a new car? How happy would I be? How, you know, secure would I feel knowing that when I get in this car, it's going to start right up. I'm not going to have any troubles. Everything's going to be okay. So I started visualizing that. Um, I got another pre-approval in the mail from my credit card company, and it was for a Nissan dealership. So one Saturday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go and look at some cars. So I did at a different dealership just so that I could kind of look at some cars and, you know, test drive and see what I liked. Um, I went to this Nissan dealership here. Um, the one that I was pre-approved at was like 40 minutes away. So I didn't want to just go up there. I figured I could just, you know, check out one that was here first. So I did that and I test drove a Pathfinder. Um, and the guy told me he could get me approved and blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, um, he did not. They did a lot of dings on my credit, too. But after that test drive, it was in my head. Like, all I could think of was that new car smell, how I felt when I was sitting there in the driver's seat, how the car looked. I took pictures of the car. I saw pictures of me in the car. And I really just raised my vibrations. And got really excited about the car and thought about how good I felt being in that car. And how excited it was making me knowing that this is my car. And that was the thing. I didn't say, oh, I hope I get this car. Oh, I wish I could have it. In my mind, I was like, I already got it. This, That's my car. It's mine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm looking because this kid got out of the car that just pulled up and it looked like he was the one that was in the driver's seat, but he wasn't. Um, so in my mind, I already was just saying, this is your car. This is your car. That's your car. I didn't know how, I didn't know when. We're going to, well, before we jump forward, 
So the first thing I did in this manifesting is I got it in my mind. Then I visualized myself in the car. I visualized me having it. Got myself to my emotional peak of having that car and really, you know, to attract it to me. Um, I brought it up at the barbershop when I took my son to get his hair cut. And I was on my way to the um, dealership that I was pre-approved at. And I brought it up to one, to the guys there. And I was told to just go to CarMax. I went to CarMax on that Saturday. Looked around, didn't test drive anything. I had test driven that Pathfinder at the other dealership. But I was told no. Um, I actually did get pre-approved and did get financing through my credit card. But they didn't want to accept those terms. Um, I didn't even know that until I got the letter in the mail from my credit card company. Um, but it didn't matter. I didn't even let that deter me. I still knew that I was going to get this car, that it was mine. Went to CarMax on Saturday, went back Sunday, test drove a Ford Fusion, then looked and saw that they had a Nissan Rogue. Now, I did get approved, or I could have had the Pathfinder, but I decided that I didn't want to do that. So instead of the Pathfinder, I decided on the Rogue. It was much, much cheaper. It was newer, and it was more in my price range and kept me in the price range comfortably that I wanted to have for payments. So we went in and did the financing. My old car, side note. While I was manifesting for a new car, I was manifesting for money. So just to try, just to see. And I said, you know what? I want $500. And I manifested on that. $500 is the exact amount that I got for my car, which lets you know how bad a shape it was. So $500 is exactly what they gave me for my car. That's what I used as a down payment for my car. And I drove away with my Nissan Rogue on Sunday. No money down out of my pocket, nothing but the car, uh, my old car, and transferred title or transferred tags and everything. And so the time frame within this was about, for me starting to manifest, I would say was maybe two to three weeks, um, just because I wasn't sure. You know, I just, it took me some time to actually start. to even really act on it. But let me tell you the keys to manifesting because ever since that, I have learned the power of your mind and the power of attracting things to you, the law of attraction from the universe. So first you have to get it in your mind, what you want, and you have to know that you can have it. You can't doubt it. You can't try to figure out the who, what, when, where, why, and how. You just have to know. Secondly, you have to visualize yourself having it. You have to get your your vibes, your vibe real high. And that way you can attract what you want. Because you're not going to be able to attract anything if you're ungrateful. You're not going to be able to attract anything if you're grumpy, if you're in a bad mood, if you're just a downer. You know, raise your vibrations up, okay? Be happy. Be grateful for what you already have. And then you can receive more. So you want to really visualize and see yourself having what it is that you want. Write it down. Part of what I did was writing it down and thinking about that and just constantly keeping that in my head that I can't have this, that this is mine. I didn't understand how it was going to work. Didn't know when. I knew when by Saturday. <laughs> I knew I was going back the next day. So you want to write it down. And just more importantly, know that it is yours and be confident. Be thankful. Thank the universe. Thank God. Thank the most high. And just know that this is yours. Be confident. It is yours. It is already there. It's already written. It's already spoken. Speak it into existence. Know the power of your own tongue. So that is my story. If you have any additional questions, Leave it down below and I'll see you.